against uh, Barry Denny, a defeat, but on a personal note, a, a goal for you. Yeah, I'm delighted to get my first Football League goal. Uh, I think there's uh, a lot of positives to be taken out of today. I know we've, we've had the defeat, but uh, with some good fixtures coming up against teams who we think we can definitely take points off, um, there's positives to be, to be taken. Tell us about the goal from your point of view. I mean, it, you, you had the touch and it, just, it seemed like a half chance, but nice to get it. Yeah, well, first of all, it was great pressure from Wes Burns. Um, He's, he's pressed really high up the pitch and he's, he's got a lot of pace, so he's put them under pressure there. Uh, I actually thought that the chance had got away from me and my first touch was just kind of bounced up on me, but luckily I've, I've been able to get it across the defender and get my shot away. Tell us about this week from from your point of view as, as, a, as a lone player coming into the club. The manager who brought you here has now has now gone. Tell us about how, it, how, it's, made, how it's gone for you. Yeah, it's difficult because obviously the previous manager provided that step up for me from the conference up to League 2 uh, for my own spell um, but all I can say is that it's a really good atmosphere um, in the last couple of days around the training ground uh, so hopefully there's positives to be taken for that uh, and really push on now. As I say from a personal point of view anyway you, you got you got given the start and uh, mm -hmm. a tough battle out there against, against some tough centre backs Nick Nolte and Cameron. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really physical, uh, as, as per usual in this league, I think. Uh, I don't think you'll get many centre-backs that are, are small or aren't good in the air. Um, but yeah, you're right enough. Um, it's, it's important now that I keep my place, because obviously the manager who brought me in is now away, so you initially think, well, am I going to keep my place here? But luckily I'm, I'm still on the team. Scoring goals won't harm it, will it? No, exactly. The more the better. And as you say, you, you, you've come into League Two, and this is your, your first chance at, at this sort of level. How have you found it overall? It's, it's been really, really tough. I think just because of where we are in the league, especially. Um, perhaps it may have been easier if we were higher up in the league to uh, settle in almost. But, um, the, the lads have still been really welcoming, even though they've, uh, they're in a difficult position. So it's, uh, it's credit to them. Uh, and they've really got together the last couple of days. Because uh, we all realised that we, we need to come together um, before it's too late. I mean, at, at this at this stage, when the club is where it is, you have had to come in and hit the ground running, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's not there's not many games left now, um, and I'm not sure where we are on the table tonight, bottom two. Uh, yeah, well, it's important that we get out of there as soon as possible, mm -hmm. push ourselves up the table. And uh, you've seen enough since you've been here to, to suggest that that can happen. Yeah, there's definitely enough to, to keep us up here. Uh, we've got a lot of pace and flair in the attacking areas. Um, I think it's just important that we, we brush up defensively now and sort of stop conceding goals so early and give ourselves more of a chance in the game. When you've played three teams in the top seven, and the next four games are against teams in the bottom seven, so it doesn't, you know, it's not rocket science, is it, that these next four games are big? Yeah, they're absolutely crucial. All the players have, have looked at that. Uh, spoke amongst ourselves said that the next four uh, we've got to make it count uh, and beat these teams that are around us because uh, it's, it's definitely been a, a tough week with these three fixtures that we've had played some good teams right thanks Dan thank you Dennis have you noticed much of a step up you, you said it's a bit from, to the defenders from the conference to here um, well, I think with uh, with certain clubs in the conference, it's uh, much of a muchness really, because there there are some some big clubs, some big fixtures like the Bristol Rovers away and Grimsby away, teams like that. Uh, it's it's pretty similar, um, but I think overall it's, it's a better standard, isn't it? Yeah, maybe a bit more unforgiving than than the conference. Yeah, I would say so. Um, definitely more clinical. I think, as you see, we're uh, we're not conceding many many shots against us apart from those yeah. that are going in the net so definitely clinical obviously spirit and atmosphere and togetherness was the big thing before before the, the game today how as a lone player do you do you do sort of have to buy into that because uh, you're conscious that the fans might be thinking ah oh, maybe some of the, the ones who are off in may aren't, aren't going to give the same as the people the people who are under contract well, I don't know about other players that are on loan, but from a personal point of view, I just don't want to have relegation on my CV as such. I don't think any player 
wants to go through their career having, having been relegated and especially come the end of the summer when you're preparing for the next season you don't want that in the back of your mind yeah. you want to, to finish on, on a high finish on good terms yeah, and, and in terms of that spirit, it's probably all that Russ has had a chance to, to, to do, isn't it? But just to get that, the, yeah, the sort of yeah, public shows up together. Now. He's been excellent um, in the last couple of days, really lifting the lads. The atmosphere at training's just um, been terrific yesterday yeah. uh, and today. So hopefully we can take that forward. Excellent. Thanks, Denny. Thank you. Cheers, mate.